Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Here at the Islamic Foundation of Toronto, they've welcomed over 70 Muslim refugees from Syria, and they have a plan in place to not only help integrate them into the local community, but also support their needs as new Canadians. We are committed to helping at least 200 families. We have volunteer groups of four, taking them to do shopping, assisting in job search, so that they can quickly integrate into the community and become independent. How are the kids learning how to uh, assimilate within Canadian culture? Our kids go to the Christian schools, to the Jewish schools, and they invite them all here, and they do all kinds of activities with them. Unless they know about other religions and they respect them, they cannot develop respect for their own religion. When the children come to you guys within the school and they say, you know, they heard about attacks that happened with ISIS and so on, well, what do you guys teach them about that? Well, they are very resentful. Yeah, uh, a lot of people don't know, but this is the truth of the matter, that Muslims are more resentful about ISIS and the terrorist activities than anybody else. Because number one, most of the people who are hurt by ISIS and the type uh, are the Muslims. Tear gas, forcing the refugees and the migrants to beat a retreat, eyes stinging. What do you say to the people that are worried? About, well, I know, say there's, there's nothing to worry about. Uh, approach these people that you might be fearful of and dialogue with them, get to know them. They're fleeing from oppression, they're fleeing from difficult situations and uh, true Canadians, they, they come out with a helping hand. These people are going to strengthen our economy, they're going to bring flavor and diversity to our communities, they're going to bring in jobs, they're going to they're create revenue. And just down the street here at the Muslim Welfare Center, they're helping refugees and others in need by providing food, clothing and other necessities. We serve people irrespective of, of their denomination, their religion. The reality of it is that if you're in need, you can count on the Muslim Welfare Center to help you. And that's what we've been doing for 23 years. Organizers say if you're planning on making a donation, please keep these Syrian children in mind. Food as well as clothing, especially warm outerwear, will make all the difference during these cold winter months. In Scarborough, I'm Darren Maharaj for Zoomer News.